Wait, so we have a little surprise. A little surprise. Wait, don't know what it's called. What it? Don't know what it is. Don't know what's inside a cow. it. A cow. A cow. A cow? You're going to watch us experience this for the first time right now. That's a Morning, Morning. Morning. How you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah. Oh, so, so it's got, got like... The old cow. Oh, oh. Almost went out over to it. Are you going to have right. a go? What, what am I meant to do with it? Drink it. Drink it? Won't give me a well. What's in it? I don't know, I haven't tried it. Wait for you. What's the verdict? Well he's not speaking and he's doing drinking more so that must be a good sign. Go. Ate, what's in this cow? What's inside? Sagu. Yes, uh, sweet sauce. Sweet sauce. It's like um, sugar syrup. Yeah, right. yeah, sugar syrup with jelly balls. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> You're not sure? No. Let me try. I'll try. You should have definitely said get us one so we could share it instead. You're like, yeah, get two. What Tastes like tea. Tastes like tea. Yeah. What? You probably like it. Yeah. Let me have that. It's called Tahoot, actually, guys. Tahoot. Tahoot. But this egg stuff, I want to know about this egg stuff. It's not stuff. egg, apparently. But, but it tastes like, it feels the, like the egg. Tahoot tastes water. like tea. I don't know. It tastes like British tea. So bothered about that, really. Okay. So, welcome to the Blue Lagoon. We've got to go and put the name to the test and see if it actually is as blue as what people make out. Is it a blue lagoon? Looks quite nice, that part does. Welcome them then. Welcome the guys. Why do you always get me terrible chin angle? <laughs> Welcome the guys, I said. Welcome to the blue lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sit. Get rid of them chins. There we go. Welcome, Welcome to the Blue Lagoon! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Blue Lagoon! <laughs> Couple of little things about the Blue Lagoon. So you turn down the road to come here, you pay 20 peso per head entrance fee. You drive all the way down the windy road and then it's 50 peso parking. However, there are a lot of accommodations on this little cove. And when I say a lot, I mean there's a gigantic resort as you enter. And if you carry on walk it uh, driving down and um, there's a lot of guest houses and um, little cottages and stuff that you can stay in i don't know the prices of them because we're not staying so we didn't check um but they're doing a lot of building work so chris will show you in a second but they've dug up a lot of the beach and um, they're building all kinds i don't even know what but there's tractors everywhere half of the like i think this beach would have went quite far back but They've, they've dug up so much of the sand, it's quite a skinny beach, like all the way around, it's quite narrow. Um, so that kind of affects how nice it looks. And I think the sun needs to come out for the blue to really pierce the water. Mm. But there's definitely not as big waves here as there is on White Beach. Um, it's definitely busier here than it is on White Beach. Although and it is the weekend though today. It is the weekend, yeah, so that probably will affect it. There's a lot of tourists here and it's not even tourist season yet. Um, there's banana boats, there's jet skis, there's all kinds of water sport. This is like a proper little tourist attraction and I said, didn't I, when we first arrived, mm. kind of reminds me of like what Borokai is. They've set it up just for people to come and have an actual holiday here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our first impressions. It's definitely not the nicest beach that we've been to um but the water looks nice and the sand is is nice until you look behind mm. chris will show you so that's where they're doing all the digging and it goes further all the way along behind mm. that's really unfortunate and further down where the big massive resort is the sand looks like it's kind of been dumped th there and it's just kind of leveled out itself it doesn't look like it's n that's its natural form. So it's always a bit of a shame. It's a bit sad when you kind of get to a beach and you see that it's been kind of manhandled a bit. But nevertheless, the watercolour is lovely and that's what we came for, I suppose. So we're going to just enjoy our day here. And just so you know, 
Chris will call me Moaning Merle in a sec. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see his dimples coming out. I'm not moaning, I just think it's best to be honest. I think it's it's important to, I don't want everyone to think that everywhere we go, we just say, oh my God, it's the most amazing place that we've ever been to. If it's not the most amazing place, because we watch YouTube videos to find out if it's somewhere that we would recommend or, oh, is that somewhere we would like to go? And if people aren't honest, then you can't make an informed decision. So as nice as the watercolour is, but the watercolour everywhere we've been in this along this coast is amazing isn't it yeah the watercolor is crazy it really is so so beautiful it's piercing blue and when the light shines on it it's unreal so it's the same watercolor here and it's like a cove so you're kind of sheltered from the wind so it's not as windy here um but that's what you come here for you come here for the water so as long as you don't turn around and see all the digging and building behind you this is a nice view does look nice the watercolour. <laughs> Gorgeous isn't it? The watercolour yeah. is just amazing. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't be This is kind of what's along the beach. It's a bit zoomed in. But. I don't come with the beach, by the way. <laughs> We're gonna go, aren't we? Yeah. We're gonna go back to the hotel and have a pool day because it's just not. It's not a bit of us, is it? They took a tree down. So there's more trees over there, look in the background. Yeah. Knocking the trees down to build and. It's nah. just. It's not a bit of us, is it? It's not. This is not what we come to the Philippines for. Absolutely not. We like the na natural beauty and it's just full of buildings, it probably full was, of rubbish. There's loads of litter. Probably was nice before. Yeah, I think so too. So back to the, back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Come on then. Right, look at all the all the stones and stuff, guys. Like they have literally ruined this beach. Like so bad. It's a shame. Okay. Yeah, well. All the rocks are out, they've knocked the trees down for it. It's 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 a real big shame because you can tell mm. that actually like all the parking areas where you park the car, there's sand all the way back. So you can tell that this here that I'm driving on, this used to be beach and they've built a road on top of it. This part of the beach looks okay, but once you look behind you or you look left and there's just building and extractions going on, and then you get a bit further down around this side of this mm. cove and it looks like they've dug a load of sand up from down here or even where they've built the, the road maybe and they've dumped it down here and it's kind of like a sand arch it's like a, yeah. a sand hill and it looks like it's been leaned against like a concrete uh, wall that's been made to stop the water coming up and it's just it's really unfortunate because Philippines is um, obviously it's something that you know how much we love this place and we always look for like the naturally beautiful places but when you start knocking the trees down to, to build it takes them away doesn't it really resorts you came to this resort to build on it because of how beautiful it was and now you've took that beauty away by what you've built so you've defeated the whole purpose of what you've actually come here for and i know that this resort here this big massive resort i'm almost certain it's this one this was actually owned by a man who i think died last year and now there's a lot of arguments between all the people about who um, yeah. it own who owns it, who it belongs to, 
again so there's a lot of kind of like fighting and arguing over like who actually owns it and it belongs to at the moment and if you i don't know if you can see now because we've kind of come a little bit too far but from from up here like on the road it, it looks nice like the watercolor and stuff but we've seen a million times nicer beaches um For than sure. this one and it's not nice to give that opinion on a place because we always go with like the biggest expectations because we know what there is to see in this country so i suppose that makes it a little bit more disappointing when you get somewhere and your expectation hasn't been met and then your expectation hasn't been met not because it's not a beautiful place but because of what it's been what ruined have done to it yeah. so i mean we um hang on let me make sure i'm zoomed out hang on a sec, guys. okay so we've been to like 30 plus provinces something like that and we've seen quite a lot we've of seen beaches in the thousands, we've say. seen a lot of beaches there we go so we don't say this we don't uh, say this lightly that uh, mm. from the minute we first got there we was like mm. Let's give it a chance, let's give it a chance. <laughs> and then I flew the drone, you know, it looked nice from the drone. It did look nice. But then when I sat back down and looked behind you and there's just big cliffs of sand being dug out and I don't know what they're doing, but they've knocked down trees and stuff like that. And I was just like, the Philippines, Filipinos in the Philippines, they love their nature. And like they love like the mountains and, you know, the trees and stuff. and Just nature, how it is. And they've taken that away from this beach to build loads of like little resorts and oh, what the hell is going on here? Look, even more. Even. <laughs> Look at this. Like, this is on the road. I'm driving on the grass <laughs> to not hit them stones. So, my personal verdict, you're going to get it right now. Saud Beach, which is where we're staying, is a much nicer beach than Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon's a, more, a lot more busier. It's got the jet skis, Tourism. the banana boats, etc. But if you want to see pure beauty, like a beautiful beach and stuff, then Sartord is 1,000% the better option. But please, please listen to me and say, please pick up your rubbish because the amount of litter that was on that, that beach, you could see it as the waves came up and the water was clear and there was just bottles and bags and crisp packets and just all kinds like but you're gonna get that in touristy destinations that reminded me of uh european spain mm. now i know that a lot of people from asia who haven't been to europe will go oh my god that's amazing but we don't go to europe for a reason and it's because of how commercial how touristy and how much the natural parts of, of the country have been ruined by the amount of tourism there is and it's not even about how many people go there because as long as people are responsible with their tourism then a million people can go if and a look million, at Boracay and from the, exactly Boracay still looks beautiful I know they've had their problems it had to be rehabilitated but strict rules have been implemented to, to make it it's it, it's been back for almost two years and it still looks beautiful so if rules can be implemented to keep a place looking beautiful and people travel responsibly that and, and not even travel responsibly because do you know what that isn't really the responsibility of the people who are traveling there that's the responsibility of the people who are building there so you can't just build and expect everyone else to look after the area if you're taking the responsibility to build an accommodation you got to be responsible for its surroundings and make sure that you don't contribute to it getting ruined because if you contribute to it being ruined and you and you allow your guests to kind of disrespect the, the space and the area, you've just wasted a lot of money building accommodation there because after a couple of years, no one's gonna wanna go there. So I know this is a bit of a negative video, I'm sorry for that, but we'd rather be honest than just, give, just be like, oh yeah, it was nice, you should go. I wouldn't recommend anyone went there. The watercolor is beautiful, but that is it. That is literally it. And to be honest, the watercolour is the same all at the way from uh, Sartled Beach as well, yeah. and other beaches, by the way. Yeah. So you can get that colour of water elsewhere yeah. in Ilocos North, in Pagudpud, for that matter. The only other thing is to do down here is, we've literally just drove past it, but we're not going to stop, um, is the cove, yeah. like the cave. Yeah, there's a there's a two big rocks. One's a cave and one's like a... It's like an arch, kind yeah. of like a natural arch. 
um, where I think the water is kind of like bashed against it so hard that it's made a hole through it. We've seen something similar in Morocco when we went to Morocco. Um, it looks amazing, but there's a lot of people there and um, we kind of just want to get back to our hotel now and have something to eat and kind of chill out for the rest of the day. But that's that's kind of it really like we're not blaming the people who have gone there and visited although everybody contributes to the tourism if you're kind of if the demand for people wanting to stay there is really high then they're going to build more and more places obviously but i think it's even overpriced i think it's like ten thousand a night to stay in that big resort and ten thousand a night i think the kubos were about fifteen hundred per night and that's, uh, that's a lot of money for what it is like we don't even I don't even know if we pay that for where we're staying now, do we? No, I don't even think we pay think that for where we are. On Agoda, I think it's like maybe a thousand, maybe eleven hundred. So you can actually save yourself four hundred odd pesos ish by staying on a nicer beach. <laughs> and you get a much nicer beach. And you get your breakfast. It's a lot quieter as well. And you get a swimming pool. Swimming pool. <laughs> They've got a generator there also, so they never get brown out. Yeah. Um, to be honest, guys. If you're coming to Bakudpud for a holiday, a vacation, I would recommend to you all to stay at Sa'ud uh, Beach area. There's loads and loads and loads of guest houses there. I don't remember the last time we have done one of these videos about a place that we visited in the Philippines to you. I don't remember no. the last time that we actually went somewhere and we felt kind of that strongly about it, that we actually was honest about, oh, this is really not what we want to be around. Um, I mean, it's good for people watching. I like people watching. It's interesting to sit there and kind of like see people enjoying themselves and having fun. But for what you actually come here for, you kind of like sold this. Oh my God, it's a blue lagoon. It's amazing. It's so natural and gorgeous. And then you get there and there's literally nothing left natural about it. The water is just got boats and um, banana boats and skis and jet skis and all kinds of stuff going on. And then you've got a zip line over the water. And then you've got a million trillion hotels and guest houses and transient houses and all the rest of it around the side. And I know that people have got to earn their money and tourism is that way. I'm just saying that there could be a bit more responsibility for the tourism taken and rules could be implemented by the people in charge of the area to stop it from getting to that point where it looks messy and not healthy and there's rubbish everywhere and they're knocking trees down and it's just sad to see it's it's it is just sad i think that's all it is isn't it like it's just sad to see that it's not really what we expected and yeah it's just one of them it's, it's today is not a fun travel day it was it was an experience but it just wasn't what we expected was it so